the bear is an extremely strong animal from the mammal family, which has always been admired by humans throughout history, and its large body and strong claws have caused terror. Although the bear is classified as a carnivore, many of its species use plants as their main source of food. The bear has a fur-covered body and is known for its incredibly strong claws. Some bears have clear markings around their eyes and chest that distinguish them from other species. All bears have an excellent sense of smell, hearing and vision, and in most cases, when humans approach, they notice and run away just by hearing the sound and smell, even if they cannot see them. Bears naturally live alone, although female bears travel with their cubs for several years, and during mating seasons, male and female bears usually move in pairs. Different species of bears have adapted to their environments over time, for example, polar bears have turned white due to living in snow-covered areas, and North American black bears have specific dietary habits that include eating corn and cactus crops. It depends on the region in which they live. Bears also have various skills, for example, some of them climb trees and others swim. Bears have delayed fertility, although the egg cell is formed after mating which is usually in the summer season, but the embryo does not develop during the first few months of pregnancy, the cubs are very small and the size of mice at birth, but they grow rapidly after birth. In the fall, bears become very fat and in some cases their weight increases to two times. In cold regions, when the weather becomes cold, when food becomes scarce, they stop their activity and go to a cave or a hole that they have already determined in a safe place. They sleep in this hole all through the cold winter season and during this time they use only the fat stored in their body, polar bears do not hibernate. Because during hibernation, the body temperature of bears does not decrease substantially, and the vital functions of the body flow normally, and the animal wakes up easily. Some researchers do not consider this type of sleep as real hibernation, but others cite things such as a sharp decrease in heart rate and consider it real sleep. Bears are very useful animals. They play an effective role in pest control by killing harmful insects and rodents. In addition, by eating wild and forest fruits and discarding and spreading their kernels, which are thinned by the acid in the digestive system. They help the regeneration of these trees. Bears are omnivores. They often prefer to use different plants such as citrus fruits, dates, wild plants, oak, plums, parsnips, sometimes hand-planted vegetables, apples, grapes, walnuts, and even the carcasses of some animals if possible. Bears often kill their prey with a single blow. This blow usually hits the spine directly and causes it to break. Another method is to bite the muzzle. Occasionally, clear and deep fang marks are seen on the prey's snout. All the anterior parts of the cerebellum may be broken. Snout biting is probably intended to surprise prey and knock it down. However, other carnivores, such as foxes, eagles, and ravens, use and feed by biting the snout and pecking at it. Bears also sometimes kill their prey by biting the neck. Bears often start eating their prey from the chest and thighs. The contents of the stomach are also eaten in the early stages. Bones are also plucked and crushed by the bear's powerful jaws before being eaten. Bears sometimes attack domestic animals such as cows and sheep. Sometimes they encroach on groves, gardens and honey beehives. Bears are peaceful animals and avoid conflict. They flee at the sight or smell of humans, but female bears with cubs, injured bears, bears that have not found a place to hibernate, and bears that have awakened from hibernation are sometimes aggressive and very dangerous. Adult bears have very few natural enemies, but bear cubs may be preyed upon by numerous predators, including coyotes and wolves. The main enemies of bears are bears and humans, and their illegal hunting by humans has had a great impact on their extinction. Among other factors that threaten the lives of bears, we can mention the destruction of their habitats and the reduction of their food sources. Male and female bears mate in spring. A male bear is not sexually restrictive and will mate with several female bears if possible, although this also applies to females due to the intense competition between males. Bears are almost never separated during mating season. The gestation period of bears is usually between 7 and 8 months, and they give birth to between 1 and 6 cubs in each birth. Female bears are fiercely protective of their cubs, and this will continue until they are 3 years old, often less, 
during which time the cubs are fed on mother's milk and food they hunt with the help of the mother. After separating from the mother, siblings usually stay together for a while, 